The War and Royal Adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine, Episode 49, Mainland Mayhem. Several new engines have been brought in over the past few months to help out on the mainland. Among them were two high-speed engines, a streamlined engine named after Emily the Sodor engine, and a bullet train named Champion. There were also two mixed traffic engines, Red and Mao. There were also four new tank engine shunters, Buddy, Will, Morty, and Elliot, one of Nitro's brothers. One day, Nitro and Elliot were passing through the top station. But neither one of them were paying close attention and they hit each other on the point and both came off the rails. The mainland controller stepped out of his office. He saw the accident and shook his head. Meanwhile, Dusty was pulling a goods train. One of the trucks was rocking back and forth. As Dusty came up the hill, the truck tipped over and caught on the water tower. Dusty pulled so hard that the coupling broke, and Dusty zoomed on the bridge and crashed off the track on the other side. Three engines were now in need of repair. The controller spoke to his engines at the sheds that night. Dusty, Nitro, and Elliot will be back in about a few weeks or so, he said. Until then, you all will have to work hard to put in the extra mile. Is that understood? Yes, sir, said all the engines. That night, there was a storm. The next morning, the Flying Scotsman went to inspect the mainland for any damage. He was passing through the top station when he noticed something. A bunch of engines were lined up at the drawbridge. What's this all about? asked the Flying Scotsman to himself, and he went to find the controller. The controller was at the National Railway Museum, checking it and Felix for any damage. Just soaking wet, sir, said Felix. Sir, asked the flying Scotsman, did you bring any new engines to the mainland? Uh, not recently, said the controller. Well, I was passing by the drawbridge and I saw a bunch of engines, so take me there now, said the controller. And the flying Scotsman hurried back to the drawbridge. The engines were still waiting for the drawbridge to go down when the flying Scotsman arrived. Who are you all, and what are you doing here? asked the controller. My apologies, said the Black Tan Engine. We're engines from the British military, and the reason we're here, said a Red Engine, is because our base got destroyed in the storm last night, so we were wondering if we could come over here and stay here until our base could be repaired. The controller thought hard for a moment. Very well, he said. I'm actually in need of some more engines because a few of mine got damaged in some accidents yesterday. So you all can come across and I'll find some jobs for you all. Excuse me sir, said the flying Scotsman, but I believe the drawbridge is broken. Broken? asked Johnson. The controller looked at the lighthouse. He's right, he said. It appears the storm has cut the power to the drawbridge. I was wondering why it wouldn't close, said Greg. The drawbridge was soon fixed and the military engines were able to enter the mainland. The other engines greeted them warmly and soon they were all friends. The next day, Emily and the Mallard were making their morning run as usual. As Mallard passed through the top station, he saw a diesel that was derailed on the drawbridge. His front wheels were hanging off the side and looked like he was about to topple at any moment. Mallard made his way towards the bridge and stopped just before he was about to go up the hill. Who are you? asked the Mallard. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, my name is Jericho and uh, I've just escaped from a railway. 
a horrible railway really indeed, but I seem to be in a little bit of a pickle here. Could you help me get back on the tracks? Mallard was a bit suspicious, but figured it would be the right thing to help Jericho. He brought the breakdown crane and Jericho was put back on the tracks. Mallard then brought him over to the controller. Spencer was filling up on water nearby, and he couldn't stop himself from thinking that Jericho looked a little familiar. Meanwhile, the mainland engines were concerned over the fact that there was a diesel on the mainland. I don't know, said Buddy. Jericho seems like a nice guy. That's what he wants you to think, said Mal. And then before you know it, he and his fellow Diesels will take our jobs and we'll all be sent to the scrapyard. Trust will lead to rust, said Caitlin. You know, I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. The mainland engines decided it would be best to keep an eye on Jericho. That evening, Thomas and Spencer puffed up to the Vickerstown Bridge. I'm ready when you are, Thomas, said Spencer. I'm ready, said Thomas, and the two engines puffed onto the mainland.